Ya. Ya. Uh, uh, the question is uh, how can you explain how uh, these people who went to Europe became white developed great technologies that eventually allowed them to colonize the rest of the world while the ones in Africa stayed black and were living mostly in state of savageness until the Europeans came. Can you explain that? that that's one thing. The other thing is uh, it, it, has been, it has been proven yeah, yeah, it has been proven that the Neanderthal, trace of Neanderthal, there are today many people of Europe, than the, they, than the DNA. Um, DNA evidence shows that um, uh, only about 2 to 2.5 percent of uh, um, uh, certain Europeans um, is uh, attributed to Neanderthal ancestry. Other than that, more than 97% uh, of their DNA is homo sapiens, is attributed to homo sapiens. So basically, today, every human being is homo sapiens. Um, uh, about the question as to why or how uh, Africa remained um, um, backward, in quotation, um, I would say that it's a, it's a way of looking at it. If civilization is defined, you know, in terms of, uh, you, you know, European uh, definitions, then if you look at Africa, yes, Africa is a dark continent, an uncivilized continent, but uh, all the record shows that Africa was, uh, in fact, where all of us became smart. And uh, in fact, even in the historic, historical period, if you if you uh, if you look at Africa, you know there are there were big civilizations like the Aksumite Empire uh, in northern Ethiopia and present-day southern Eritrea, or the Great Zimbabwe, or the great uh, states uh, and chieftaincies of Western Africa. Africa is not as uh, most of the rest of the world uh, perceives. Um, it to be. Africa had um, uh, very great civilizations in the past, both in the prehistoric and historical uh, period, and uh, whatever differences we see today, particularly over the last four and five hundred uh, years, uh, were the result of uh, the Europeans having uh, the Industrial Revolution and the, the gun in particular, and colonizing the rest of the world. So other than that, if you look, uh, that, is, that is actually the crux of the talk. If you look deeper in time, you see uh, a better picture of the world and, and humanity. So we all had um, a common uh, background in terms, of, uh, uh, in terms of our cognitive cap capacities. And we all today have equal cognitive capacities. And some of the differences that you mentioned and that you see are the result of, you know, little geographic serendipities and uh, climatic change and, uh, you know, certain things that favor certain people in certain part of the world and disfavor others in other parts of the world. Um, have I answered? No? This will be the entertainment of the whole.